Welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. Basically, we're going to give you information so you can make a more informed purchasing decision. On today's show, we're in WA visiting the MC Motorsports Performance Driving Track to announce a brand new competition. Thanks to our friends at Ian Diffin City Discount Tyres. Now, more on that a little bit later. On today's show, Dan and I head off road and get some four wheel drive training thanks to our friends at City Toyota. And now we're going to put on a system called Crawl, which Toyota have developed. So basically all you're going to have to do now, Dan, is point and shoot. You reckon it'll come straight out? The vehicle's going to pick up this idle. It's going to do what, what it has to do. That easy. I love you, Button. You're my favourite Button. Plus, we catch up with this week's Zoomaholic, Matt Boyd and his 1976 Alex Tirana hatch. How much work have you done to get it looking like this? Fixed up a lot of the roughs myself, did the interior a fair bit, just little things like speedo dolls and lights, the whole running gear, everything's been done from head to toe, so it's like driving a brand new car, but the panel and paint was done about two years ago and that was a big job. So slip on your race suit and get ready for Zoom TV. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name's Richard, this is Troy and uh, we're from Adventure Off-Road Training. So today we're going to be your instructors and uh, we aim to go out and have a good fun day today. So we're going to have a, a few pre-departure checks. We obviously want to check that we've got fuel in the vehicle, okay. Oil, we know where our dipstick is, we want to find our dipstick on our particular vehicle. Check the amount of oil you've got in your vehicle, make sure it's up between those levels and it's all, all good and in good condition. Then we want water, so obviously your cooling system has water on there. Okay, so having checked all through your engine bay, make sure everything looks right, you've checked all the fluids and everything. Start to the outside of the vehicle, have a good look around the vehicle, make sure there's nothing amiss, your lights are all working. Obviously check your, your tyres, make sure they're all in good condition and make sure your wheel nuts are all tight. So moving on from there, we can now head out there and go and play. Once everyone's checked their, their vehicles. Okay, Aaron, how's it going? Petrol, yeah. check, it's already been done. Oils, checked all my oils. Yeah. Water, electrics. Yeah. Okay, and I've checked the uh, rubber already. Yep, so it's all good. I'm all done. Yeah, brilliant job. Chick, thank you, sir. Super. Ready to go. All right, Dan, how are you going? Yeah, good, mate. I'm, I mean, this is a brand new car, obviously. I mean, where's the radiator cap? Well, radiator cap isn't on these ones. They don't have the traditional old radiator cap. It's got a fully pressurised system. So that uh, coolant bottle there is the way you check it. You see down here, there's a, a low and a, a full mark. So just keep an eye on that up there and it's all good. Everything else is all looking good. Yeah. As you say, it's a brand new vehicle. Nothing should go wrong with this, uh, this vehicle. It's a, it's a great bit of kit. Yeah, that's it. Well, if anything goes wrong, I've got no excuses, have I? Exactly right. <laughs> Dano. Hey. Are you done? Are you ready? Yeah, well, I've got uh, done all the checks. I've got fluids and I've got rubber. But you know what you've got now? What? To really make you feel like an off-roader. Oh, your own two-way. You Just, shouldn't have. I, well, I actually got it off Rich. He doesn't know that I've actually taken them, but I thought we needed them more than him. You've got one battery, I've got one battery. Who's going to get bogged first? Oh, it's probably going to be me. It's probably going to be me. Five bucks but I can't me. wait to get, OK? Harry, you there? Yeah, that did that perfectly. I love that call, that call name. Whoa. Okay, guys, when you're going into water, enter slowly. Hey, Dan, I don't think Wayne Smith's going to appreciate how dirty you're getting these cars. I guess um, maybe you should have had this one. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to blame you for both of these cars. Right now, Ian Diffin City Discount Tires are on the hunt for 10 lucky winners to attend a performance driving course to sharpen their driving skills and ultimately get the best performance out of their car. To enter, head to the Ian Diffin City Discount Tires Facebook page. 
Coming up after the break, Dan and I take control of our four-wheel drives thanks to Adventure Off-Road Training and City Toyota. That's coming up next on Zoom TV. Okay guys, before we uh, tackle any obstacle off-road, we may need to adjust the pressures on our uh, tyres. Okay, so if we're on the sand, we would let them down really quite low. And we normally anticipate like, a third of the tyre sidewall deformation. Okay, puts you in the ballpark. But when we're on the harder terrain like this, we just want to soften the tyres to allow it to conform to the ground a little bit better and be able to grab hold of that, uh, that ground to give us some traction. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to drop these tyre pressures on this vehicle here. And we're going to use the ARB Easy Deflator. Not only does it air down your tyre, but it also gives you a, a check on what tyre pressures you've got. So they're at 30 uh, PSI at the moment. But it cer certainly softens the tyre, and as the uh, the tyre rotates, it gives a bit of a, a grabbing action as well, which, which helps the tyre to, to bite onto the ground. As the tr uh, tread flattens out at the bottom, it pinches, and uh, that will also help. Just soften it up a little bit, and it's uh, certainly helped the tyre. Now, Rich, I wasn't watching, I know about you, Dan. I'll, I'll get you to actually show us what you did again. Like, Three more times, if you could. Three more times? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon you're just being lazy. Yeah, no, no, I'm just trying to learn. That's all I'm trying to do. You probably need to do it four more after that. Yeah. Like, we'll, we'll learn to watch and learn. Yeah. That's right, I can do these four because you've got another vehicle that you need to air down anyway, so you can have a go at that one. Yeah, that'd be great. Mate, you're going to do it the hard way. Just use a stick. You used a stick? I just used a stick. I just put a stick in there. We used to do it as a kid, just stick a stick in there and let the air out. All right. Now, mate, look, this is how you do it the easy way. You just st stick a stick in there and... <laughs> <coughs> what? you got a stick stick oh, in no. there. Shouldn't have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to see if Rich has got maybe uh, a compressor? So what happened then, Aaron? I think the uh, machine that you gave me malfunctioned. Yeah, I saw that machine. It looked remarkably like a piece of stick. I think I might have picked it up when we were forward driving. Ah, but we haven't done any forward driving yet. All right, Aaron, tyres at the right pressure now, so we can take this off. Yep. Let's go down and look at the terrain. All right, thanks for that, mate. Oh, have a look at it. It's going to be great. OK, guys, the uh, first law of four-wheel driving is stop, get out and look. And the second law of four-wheel driving is think, assess, decide. Think, do I want to do this? Assess, can I do this? Decide, how do I do this? Now, there's only one way we can do that, and that's actually walk around the obstacle and uh, check it out. Momentum can be your frenemy, OK? It can help you out in some situations, but it can be detrimental in other uh, situations. So when we're coming down a steep hill, low range first gear, let the vehicle crawl down that hill. If we start building momentum coming down this hill, washing that momentum off is going to be very, very hard. You get to the slippery terrain here, and all of a sudden your vehicle goes crashing into the bottom. So we want to start off slow. If we need momentum to help us, we can sometimes feed a bit of power in, get the vehicle moving just that little bit quicker to help the vehicle's wheels get past the point where they start to spin. Once they're past that, they, they grip again. So a bit of momentum in that uh, situation certainly helps out. But trying to back off that momentum as much as possible. OK, at this point, we're going to turn him away. By doing this, we keep the axles as level to each other as possible, keeping them coming through. Keeps even drive to the wheels. It stops the wheels from losing traction. Got the articulation. Haven't broken the boss's car, which is great. No noises that we shouldn't have. And out of jail, I think. Let's see what Aaron does. <laughs> How do we go? Not, not too bad. Uh, <laughs> always watch your spotter, because mm. the spotter can see what you, where your wheels are. Yeah. And unless you're 100% sure of, of where they are, you always want to uh, know that. Gravity is great for helping you down. Yeah. It's a different story when we turn around and go up, and that's what we'll be doing next. <sighs> There's another side of this story. We've got to go back. Well, I'm going to play a few tricks on him now, because I'm going to uh, get the vehicle a little bit stuck. But also, as soon as we straighten him up here, we're going to really uh, cross the vehicle up. All right, we'll hold it there. <clears throat> and now we're going to put on a system called Crawl, which Toyota have developed. Uh, it's a great system for, for getting the vehicle out of this uh, situation. It controls all, all the wheels, the, the speed that the vehicle travels, and also um, <clears throat> just keeps you having to steer. That's all the driver has to do once we engage Crawl, just steer. All right, so basically all you're going to have to do now, Dan, is point and shoot. 
You reckon it'll come straight out? Hold on to the steering wheel. What you're going to see, the vehicle's going to pick up this idle. It's going to do what, what it has to do. That easy. I love you, Button. I'm my favourite Button. Excellent. That's what we want. New technology, you can't beat it. As soon as his hit wheel hits the bottom, we're going to turn him that way. So he follows that right all the way around. See how level the bonnet stays? We keep that bonnet level, keep it going. Oh, I'm telling you, Rich, it's getting, getting wet out there. Keep it going. Mate, did you see that form? The approach. The only thing was you'll show me all the hand signals. What does this mean? <laughs> I got so confused. So what we do is we turn you around now and get you going up that hill. Done like a pro. I tell you what, that, that A-track really made a difference. You could feel the car just grabbing on. It does. It bite, bites on the, on the brakes, sending drive to the wheel that hasn't got, uh, that's got the good traction. I want to hear the word. You did an excellent job, Aaron. Excellent job, Aaron. There you go. Pretty proud of that. After the break, we continue our off-road adventure thanks to the guys at City Toyota. Do we make it back? Obviously, I do. But does Dan? We find out next on Zoom TV. Do you own something incredible that drives, flies or floats? Then we want to hear about it and maybe even have you on the show. All you have to do is film a short video under two minutes long about your car, your motorbike, your four-wheel drive, your boat or your plane and tell us just what makes it so great. Then upload your video to YouTube and email the link to imazoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au. You and your car could feature on the show all around Australia. Plus, if you're the member of a motoring enthusiast club and you've got an event coming up, let us know about it and you never know, we might come along. So, Royce, these are brilliant days, aren't they? I mean, it's, it's thrown up a heap of challenges. And Richard, yeah. he's just, he's a full bottle, isn't he? He knows his stuff. Now, you've actually done the course, you were saying, uh, as part of being a technical trainer at uh, City Toyota. And what made you come and do this with him? Well, what I had to do was, um, as part of my job, I need to inform everybody on how this stuff works. Mm. So, how am I going to inform them? I need to go out and do it. How did you pull up after the course? Did you find that, I mean, you obviously learned a fair bit, but did you find, uh, you know, it all changed? Was it, was it, did you have a different vision by the time you got home? Yeah, so when I came into the course originally, I was uh, a bit apprehensive, a bit scared at some points, but when I came out of it, I felt a lot more confident when it comes to the full drive systems. And how have the uh, staff that you've been then forwarding that training to, how have they reacted? Well, the staff actually receive it quite well. They find it really informative. And then from there, they go forward and inform the customers when they get the vehicle delivered to them. It was just quite important too. I mean, I was surprised with the 200 series that I'm driving today. There was some noises in my older four-wheel drives. I would have pulled up and probably put a for sale sign on it coming out of it. But you, yeah. you didn't explain that's actually part of the traction control and the braking doing its that's work, correct, isn't it? That's correct, Dan, yeah. Yeah, so, so there's no need to be worried when these systems come in. They do make a few different noises, but don't be worried and it's really important that the customer knows that. So this is what I tell the sales staff. And that's important too. I mean, you sell uh, vehicles, you, the company does, up to the mining companies and that, that type of industry as well. I mean, there, there's another market that you really need. The guys up there need to know what they're doing with these cars, don't they? Yeah, so uh, only a couple of years ago, I, I got myself a certificate for in training and assessment. Currently, I'm running courses for mine sites. So what I can do is I can tailor a course for the mine site so they can come back to me and say, look, we need this training for our guys, and then I can put it together, and then we can go forward from there. That's a wonderful job, isn't it, mate? Um, so you have first-hand experience with both the 200 series, which I'm in love with. Yep. Lots of power, a couple of turbos, yeah. you know, ticking all the boxes. Fantastic. And this very beautiful-looking FJ. I mean, what do you prefer? I actually prefer the FJ. Yeah? Yeah, I do. It's, uh, it's just a, a great little all-rounder. It's a good-looking car, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, I prefer my power, though. I'm a Land Cruiser man. I mean, yeah, but yeah, you know, it doesn't take away from the Land Cruiser. That's a great car as well. But for myself, the FJ for sure. Not all about power, is it? No, it's not, mate. I'm learning as we go. <laughs> oh, good talking to you, Royce. 
you just in time to find out who was the best four-wheel driver? Uh, now, before you answer that, Rich, I can say, look, you don't need to, in front of him, pick favourites. It's, it's cool. Just tell me in private. It's Dan, cool. I don't want to wreck your day, but I did hear a few excellences coming through the old two-way. You were telling him that sort of stuff? Mm-hmm. He did do a very good job. Thank very you. good job. Thank you. Mm. But so did you? It's good to hear. I'm not, I mean, I do go home crying sometimes. Yeah. Well, the, the question is, are you still alive? Are you still happy? Is the car in one piece? And have you enjoyed yourself? And is it up the right way? Mm. Oh, there we go. All Shiny side up's always good. Main thing is, main thing is the cars aren't scratched. Mm. But um, you don't want to see the inside of the car, so we apologise to you, Mr Smith from City of Toyota. <laughs> now, back to talking about uh, four-wheel driving. It's a lot of fun. I mean, we've been out here today filming and everything else. We've seen families going past, people doing training out. It's more than, I suppose, a hobby. It's a sport, isn't it? It's a sport, yeah, it definitely. It's, it's one of the, the biggest growing sports in, in WA um, and in Australia. You know, lots of people out there doing stuff, um, modifying their vehicles to, for either long trips, go around and see Australia, um, or just short journeys and go and, and do the hard, hard stuff. Do you run? Courses just for, uh, for for work, or you run family courses. What, what do you? We, have we do recreational courses uh, on the weekends, and we do do some some courses during the week. So families can come along with it with their vehicle, so they learn in their vehicle, which is really important when you you're, you're driving your four wheel drive. Going and learning something else, and then get back into your vehicle. It doesn't always apply. So learning how your vehicle works through this terrain is is paramount to to good four wheel driving, and it will take you some time to get used to your vehicle if it's a new vehicle to you. So, Rich, if people want to get involved, they just go to your website, everything's there, and click away, and yep. they're on. Basically, um, adventureoffroadtraining.com, uh, and uh, you can click on the book now form and pick the date that you want to go on uh, your four-wheel drive course. Now, Rich, I'd love to come out again. I'm sure Dan would as well, but next time, can we make it on a nice day? Oh, look, you, you get what you, you, you pick at the end of the day. Different terrain and, and everything, it, it mixes it up, so you know, there's always people like mud, some people like the harder ground, so it's all good. Yeah. I think I did a great job today. You did? Almost as good as Dan. Do you, do you want me to get us home? You can drive home, yeah, yeah because you've been up the hill, but he hasn't yet. Let's play it safe. Do you want to get more out of your diesel? Well, let the team at United Fuel Injection help you. They're the experts in diesel fuel injection, turbocharging and vehicle performance technologies. Make an appointment today and get more talk out of your diesel at unitedfuel.com.au. There you go, we both made it back safe and sound. Dan's hair is perfectly okay for the record. Now, if you belong to a club and you've got an event coming up, go to our website, zoomtv.com.au, click on the events page, tell us about the event. We'll give it a plug, we may even come along. After the break, we catch up with this week's Zoomaholic, Matt Boyd and his 1976 Alex Tarana hatch. That's next on Zoom TV. Stick around, because it's a beast. Matt Boyd, how are you, mate? Good, how are yourself? Mate, I absolutely love your car. Cheers, mate. Cheers. I love the colours and what you've done, and it's beautiful. It's taken a long time, I can tell you that much. So you've owned it for a while? Yeah, since I was on my P's when I was 17, so 13 years, unfortunately. So you were lucky enough to go out and get this when probably people didn't appreciate it like you would now. True, true, but I started on a, a light ace, Toyota light ace, so it <laughs> got a lot more stylish after the first one, I can tell you that much. How much work have you done to get it looking like this? Well, uh, when I bought it 13 years ago, it was a bit of a shell of this. It looked pretty average, but fixed up a lot of the roughs myself. Did the interior a fair bit, just little things like speedo dials and lights. Uh, the whole running gear, everything's been done from head to toe, so it's like driving a brand new car. But the panel and paint was done about two years ago, and that was a big job. Now, Matt, under the hood, does she sound as good as she looks? She sounds pretty good. It used to sound a lot better, but it's been restricted because it got a yellow sticker leaving motivation a couple of years ago. <laughs> Can we go for a drive in it? We can, <laughs> but it uh, gets a lot of attention. Unfortunately, a lot of that's from the police. Oh, but, okay. uh, so I don't have a licence at the moment. Well, I tell you, I, I could drive it for you. I guess you could. <laughs> I guess you could. <laughs> Dad, what if I scratch it? You break it, you bought it. How's I'll, that I'll buy it. There you go. One thing I like, and you can tell how well a car's been restored, is this noise. Perfect. Quality.
thanks heaps for the drive. Now, it's not hard to tell, there's a lot of power there. What are you running under the hood? Uh, it's a 308 stroker, so it's stroked out to 355, and it's probably between 300 and 400 horses, I'd say. Now, Matt, I noticed she was a little bit heavy. What's the reasoning behind that? Uh, one thing is the pretty big wheels and tyres, but being an old car, it's 36 years old, and steering is pretty locked in there. But it's good for tight situations. Now, I'm glad you brought up the rims. They're pretty unique. Where would you get them from? Well, uh, really, to find a set for this, I was pretty picky, so it took me about seven years, and I was just cutting out pictures of rims in magazines and sticking them on my like photos of my car, but got them from America, and you know, I had to measure out the actual size and send it over there, because there's no Tiranas there, but looks pretty good, I think. Now, that's pretty extreme. What else have you done in the name of extreme for your girl? Sitting up all night, two days in a row, polishing the rims for full motivation, and lots of little things over 13 years. Now, Matt, thanks very much. It was great to meet you. No There's a lot of love in this car. Oh, you'd have to agree, that Tori was pretty special. Now, if you own something special that drives, flies or floats, we want to know about it. Make a video between one and two minutes long telling us why it's so special. Then upload it to YouTube, then send the link to imazumaholic at zoomtv.com.au. And we're done, people. To find out more about today's show, go to our website, zoomtv.com.au. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. And remember, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.